Welcome to the ASCOR Conference 2013. With over a thousand delegates, it gives school and college leaders the opportunity to network, share ideas and explore topics. I've been coming to ASCOL for 12 to 14 years. I've always found it to be the best professional development that you can have, really. We've come here today just to sort of network as well as learning about the new proposals and curriculum pathways that are on offer for our students. To really find out what other schools are doing, to share your experiences and to learn from them. Some really high calibre presenters, ranging from Michael Gove, Michael Wilshaw, like them all, love them. It's really interesting to hear things from the horse's mouth. I thought Brian's speech was excellent. Shouldn't the advancement of our education be a joint enterprise, with government and the profession working together? You don't mm. consult the profession, and when you do, you don't listen if you don't like what you hear. We listened to the profession and to Ofcall, and we changed on GCSE. Some of the changes that we've made people approve of, others they want uh, more debate on before we finally decide in which direction we're going to go. And it was great to be able to work out where people had those particular concerns so that we could reflect on them. What we do not welcome is the proposal to scrap the AS qualification as a staging post towards A-level. I don't know anyone who agrees with this idea. I think it is a disaster. I think every single session has been really useful. It's good to hear what Michael Gove had to say. I've tried to challenge the view that um, for a majority of young men or young women in this country, it's automatically the vocational path. One of the biggest problems with our education system, I think, is that we constantly divide children up rather than bringing them together. We must see all routes, academic and vocational, as parallel routes to excellence. I think we need new gold standard vocational A-levels. Because if you talk to my membership, the one bit of the education exam system that they still have confidence in are A-levels. The pace of changes, I think, is one of the major worries that have really been one of the themes of this conference, I think. We've had another year of uncertainty and breathless policy announcements. It's not that we can't cope with change, it's the pace of change. The fact that it's so relentless, the fact that actually you're having GCSE reform and A-level reform all at the same time. Mm. I've had to balance both the need to show and to demonstrate that we've listened to you and to voters and to parents who've expressed concerns, and at the same time the scale of change is manageable. What I liked most about Michael Gove's responses is that he was actually willing to take questions from the floor in an ad hoc way. And I think we all acknowledge that that was quite a brave thing to do because potentially the audience here was quite hostile. I inherited a failing school and we are on that journey, Michael, out of there. I never want to move, but I am not acknowledged. And I can't be a training school and that is my vital resource to breed the new teachers to work in these schools. Please help me. The fact that you've committed to working in a community where there are so many challenges is something that we want to encourage and support. I found that the inspection session that we went to yesterday was really, really useful. Well, the big challenge this year has been the redesignation of satisfactory to requires improvement. I want this new requires improvement designation to act as a catalyst for the good and ambitious leader to drive their school forward. They sap public confidence in schools which know they need to do more and are trying very hard indeed to do so. And then once a school has been judged failing, it can take years to get that school back up on its feet in terms of community support. Schools that may be struggling should be being supported by stronger schools so that no school is left behind. We will have no hesitation in failing underperforming schools if they don't improve within the prescribed period. It's time to move to an equally rigorous but more intelligent approach to inspection which befits a high status profession. I think the kind of theme of the conference of positive leadership I found really inspirational. Well a positive leader is someone who inspires, motivates, energises and unites the team around them. I think it's that uh, pat on the back, really, to say that you are doing a fantastic job, despite the odds at times. Positive leadership is what we all need to hear. 
I think it's more important for politicians to listen, really, than to talk sometimes. So I thought it was better to have a session which allowed ASCO members to ask me what was on their mind. So an opportunity like this is vital for school and college heads to come together, discuss policy and make their case to people like me. It's a great exhibition and it's great to be with such fantastic, innovative, creative college and school leaders. Update them on the things that we're doing, hear about the challenges they're facing. It's great just to see the different resources that are out there to aid us in our teaching. It's all about having an impact on learning and having the best impact for good on performance. We've had an excellent response this year, in fact it's probably the best year we've ever had. The conference is a great supporter of Anthony Nolan and the work that it does and I think we'll be contacting many schools to do some more presentations. The actual conference agenda itself is very topical and it covers a wide range of issues that schools leadership teams face. The things we've been showing them, particularly RM Unifiers, have gone down really well and RM Books as well. Steps to move these sort of traditional things into the cloud and the technology for us. We've just launched a new app for a student part of Boston Britain, but the feedback's been fantastic and that's really one of the reasons we come. The things that we see around here in the exhibition and some of the contacts that we've made have been really helpful. And the chance to just sit and talk with colleagues and explore issues is, is also really helpful. What you get is a kind of renewed sense of purpose. You get a bit reinvigorated again because the day job can be lonely at times. So coming to a gathering like this where you rub shoulders with colleagues and you hear inspirational speakers and get to think again about the educational debates, it means you go back home with just a little bit more energy, a little bit more of a spring in your step.